Welcome back to Ibiza News. From the 1st to the 7th February, the United Nations World Interfaith Harmony Week will be observed with the purpose of recognizing that the moral imperatives of all religions, convictions and beliefs calls for peace, tolerance and mutual understanding. In the wake of encouraging all countries worldwide to support and spread the message of interfaith harmony, blatant violations of the right to religious freedom and the abuses committed by religious institutions continues to escalate. A movement to root out the corruption within the Christian church in Korea is in full motion. A large-scale rally to protest against the Christian Council of Korea, also known as the CCK, was held on the 27th of January 2019 in Seoul, South Korea. Global Citizens Human Rights Coalition to call for the shutdown of the Christian Council of Korea, which is a coalition of about 100 civil, religious and human rights organizations from around the world and about 30,000 citizens participated for this event. The CCK is an organization that represents Christianity in South Korea. There have been 12,000 pastors convicted of crimes such as sexual abuse, fraud and embezzlement over the past 10 years. What's more, as a means of supporting their churches, the pastors of the CCK have been running so-called coercive conversion programs that involve abduction, confinement and violence. These programs even resulted in the deaths of two Christians in 2007 and 2018. These incidents served as momentum through which the entire world participated in a movement for a ban against coercive conversion and the shutdown of the CCK. The world's media, including the New York Times, raced to provide coverage regarding this religious suppression occurring in South Korea. But despite worldwide criticism, the CCK shows no sign of realizing or repenting its ways, continuing on its illegal actions. The participants of the rally raised their voices in a strong call for the shutdown of the CCK pointing out how pastors had not only failed to set an example for the rest of society, but instead became a hotbed for corruption. The Christian Church in Korea must now be reborn, stepping away from all of its corruption.